So this is the spit. Here's the neighbor. There now, huh? Off you go, my girl. You'll be fine. I already took care of all the orders for- Hmm. According to my order, I shouldn't be adding Nibble to the Stein. I should go on the other side of the counter. Those drinks won't get served by themselves. I must remember to serve the scientists. Herr Gustav put the tankards near the casks on the other side of the counter. A bit more to the side, darling, please. Lenny, sweetheart? Crikey, you nearly made me jump out of my skin. What have you got there? Oh, it's... It's a camera lens, that's all. A camera lens? Yeah. Borrowed it from Frau Junta. Who is this Frau Junta anyway? Ginger Junta, over there. She married? Oh no, too old to marry now. She's way past 20, you know. That's why she likes filming Leon. Because he's young and handsome. Lenny! And she never lets me have a go of her gear anyway. I only wanted to help her film something. I bet she's jealous. Lenny, what's so special about Frau Junta's equipment that makes you want to steal it? Borrow it. All right, borrow it. Can't you see? Who would be interested in Ginger Junta if she didn't have a camera, huh? Too old for Leon. She uses it so she can be the centre of attention, you know. Is that what you want? No, not exactly. Besides, there's nothing to do here. I do understand, Lenny, but... No, you don't. Feels like a prison here sometimes, all on my own. When I grow up, I'll live at the top of a building in the big city, and I'll have a swimming pool on my roof. Believe me, I do understand, Lenny. Because of my coughing fits, I've sometimes had to stay in my room for weeks on end. Imagine that, nothing to see but the same four walls. Oh, right. Must have been pretty tough, I guess. That's why I took up the piano. Do you like doing anything special, Lenny? I suppose I like making stuff with Papa. He's got ever such clever hands, you know. But he's always so busy in the summer. Let's be friends then, shall we? You won't tell on me then? Not now that we're friends. You promise? I promise. Leon, dear, do make an effort. You'd better get back. Father will get cross if he finds us gabbing. I should go on the other side of the counter. Those drinks won't get served by themselves.
I already took care of all the orders for that kind of beer. I already took care of all the orders. The keg's empty. I need to change it. Here's the nebel. That should be it. Let's serve these gentlemen now. No, we'll have to go higher, I'm telling you. But my point is that it's highly improbable that any primate will be able to survive so high up, let alone thrive. And if they were thriving, we wouldn't be looking for them, would we? I say they've taken to the higher ground, and they only come down to steal livestock and game. Look out, chaps. Gentlemen, your drinks? Ah, good on you, lassie. Horst, make yourself useful and pass these around. First day, is it? Better make a wish, then. All right, I will. I wish you would tell me what all those maps are for. Ah, that I can grant you. They show all the different locations of an expedition we're planning. And what about you, gentlemen? Well, let me introduce you to my dream team. Horst Sauer, talented anthropologist and frequent but worthy pain in the ass of your mother. Rudolf Jaeger, distinguished ethnologist. And last but not least, Albert Bauer, paleontologist. And yourself? Reinhard Berger, biologist. As Herr Berger says, we're here to train for the origin expedition in return for funding for our own projects back home. And for the love of science, eh, Horst? Oh, yes, of course, Herr Berger. I'm sure none of us would be here otherwise, would we? And what about you, my lovely? Oh, I'm Dana. I'm working here during the holidays, that's all. I see you haven't come just for the view, then. <laughs> oh no, Fraulein. We're only here for the beer and a pretty smile. That's our trainer out there. Supposed to knock this scraggly lot into shape for the big climb in Baltayar. <clears throat> right. And what's that one of, if you don't mind me asking? That is Baltayar, a remote region in the mountains of northern China. That's where I'll be leading my team in a couple of weeks. And what's this expedition for? Well, keep it to yourself, but the code name is Origin. And if I have my way, it will likely change the way we perceive humanity. I'm curious to know what this Origin expedition is all about, though. If it's not top secret, that is. Put it this way, Fraulein Dana. If, uh, when, we discover what we're looking for, you will no doubt remember this conversation as your claim to fame. You will tell your grandchildren that you served the Origin team. The team that discovered none other than the missing link of the superior race of humans, the Australopithecus habilis, the direct ancestor of Homo sapiens. Or, more vulgarly put, the abominable snowman. Oh, I see. Now I get why it's called Origin. Whatever we find, whatever we call it, it's likely to send shockwaves all through the world of anthropology. It will help us to explain how we evolved from Australopithecus to modern man, and then became... <laughs> he's off again. Get him started on anthropology, and he's like a bolted horse. I don't think Fraulein Dana wants you to clobber her with your explanations, Horst. <laughs> Ah, 
I'm sure it's all very... interesting, but I must admit I'm more into the arts myself. Music, mostly. Come, gentlemen, here's to the Brown Shadow for generously sponsoring this expedition which is sure to redefine our understanding of mankind. Oh, I see we're fraternizing with the personnel, gentlemen. Just giving a toast to our generous sponsor, Herr Hurst. May I remind you that this mission, financed by my party, is confidential? Do you know what that means, Dr. Berger? Yes, Herr Hurst. It means, gentlemen, it is strictly forbidden to communicate any details or objectives to anyone outside our circle, let alone to the first waitress to come by twinkling her eyelashes. Fraulein, as soon as you're done here, I suggest you get back to your chores. What a brute. That is one of the inconveniences of working with a heavily politicized private sponsor. But he's just doing his job. And I suppose, like anything else in life, there has to be some compromise to get what one desires. So, think nothing of it, Fraulein. It is the way of science. Indeed, it is the way of the world. I suppose it is the way of the world, Herr Berger. Thank you, gentlemen, for telling me about your expedition. But I must get back to work. I need to add more wood in the fire. No. Impossible. Hmm. Looks all good to me. It's not enough. I need to feed the fire more. It's not enough. I need to feed the fire more. Herr Gustav didn't have time to fix it. Hmm, looks all good to me. Wow, I've never seen a stove like this. It must be one of Herr Gustav's inventions that everyone talks about down in Wagen. Hmm, looks all good to me. No. It's not enough. I need to feed the fire more. It's not enough. I need to f Looks like there's something wrong with the airflow. Looks like there's something wrong with the airflow. Better try another one. Hmm. Looks all good to me. Herr Gustav didn't have time to fix it. Wow, I've never seen a stove like this. It must be one of Herr Gustav's inventions that everyone talks about down in Wagen. Yes. 
According to the dials on the stove, there's a problem with the air intake. I'll need to adjust it directly using the stove valves. Impossible. Hmm. Looks all good to me. Better try another one. Hmm. Looks all good to me. Herr Gustav didn't have time to fix it. Herr Gustav didn't have time to fix it. So glad Herr Gustav likes me to play for the clients. This way at least I won't get rusty. There, like that. Try not to move now, darling. Perfectly dry. Better not interrupt them. That Frau Junta wasn't exactly friendly earlier with Lenny. I'd better not disturb them. I don't want to risk another scolding. Another creation of Herr Gustav. I guess he won't mind if I take a quick look. Madonna laces. Hmm. peak in the region. Little Lenny said that it's the keeper of the border with Switzerland. This path leads to Switzerland. One needs to be The Devil Pass starts here. The end of the road for an inning. Now I can finish a just. The Silberspiegel, the heart shaped rock face that gave its name to the refuge. According to Herr Gustav, only the most seasoned alpinists can climb it. No, we can do better.
I think Herr Gustav would not like it if I left the refuge during the service. So I had better stick around. So glad Herr Gustav likes me to play for the clients. This way at least I won't get rusty. That should be it for the fire, but I think there's something wrong with the airflow. Herr Gustav didn't have time to fix it. According to the dials on the stove, there's a problem with the air intake. I'll need to adjust it directly using the stove valves. What a strange mechanism. It reminds me of the automatons on the musical square. Now I can finish adjusting the stove. And there's no need to be nervous. I'm here if there's the slightest problem. And there won't be. Now I can finish adjusting the stove. Now I can finish adjusting the... According to the dials on the stove, there's a problem with the air intake. I'll need to adjust it directly using the stove valves. Hmm. Looks all good to me. Herr Gustav didn't have time to fix it. Better try another one. Hmm, looks all good to me. No, impossible. That one is loose. That should fit pretty much anywhere on the stove. That's it. I'm done here. I've done all that Herr Gustav told me to do. I'd better go and tell him. All right. Fine. No more orders and everyone's served. That's the girl. You handled your first foray pretty well, Dana, my girl. Stepping away as you did from anything to do with the brown shadow. Keep it up. It will all be all right. Hey, Dana. But what if he... Just do as you did, and we'll be all right. Good. That's right. Glad you listened to my advice. Just keep doing as I say, and you'll win him over every time. So, young lady, you're still after the Academy in the fall, are you not? What you waiting for, then? Get back to your practicing, and play us a nice tune while you're at it. All right then, I will.
Thank you, Herr Gustav. Play something melodious this time. It'll make a nice change from the military pieces some of the patrons have been requesting of late. Well, Herr Gustav did a pretty good job repairing that. Leon, what are you doing? I want to catch the light.
Oh, uh, gosh, um, I, I hope I haven't... Bravo! 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 Bravo. Bravo. Clap! How can you clap? Oh, so you like the noise, do you? Do you? Well, you should be ashamed! Ashamed, I say! To applaud the music of a... of a... of a treacherous Polish separatist! Rebel rousing! It's this kind of rebel rousing that puts the poison of Marxist Vagaran ideology in the minds of honest people! And those who partake in its vulgarization are accessory to treason! You are drunk, Herr Hoss. <laughs> Out of my way, boy. Come, Fräulein. Best clear off until the dust settles. You should have seen me then, Fräulein Walker. I was so young and eager to witness whatever could happen between Dana and Leon. I needed to know, to be included. So, that's the painting Dana thinks father should buy from Leon. Nice choice. Ah, oh, Lenny. Why don't you leave the piano to those who actually know how to play it, huh? <sighs> What's the point? I could never compete with Dana. He had it coming. Shouldn't you be in bed? Don't you have some dolls to dress? Go up to your room, Lenny. Lenny, don't. Give them some space, would you? Not now, Lenny. What a fiasco. A blasted fight. That's all I need. Lenny, don't. Give them some space, would you? Dana did a good job. It's nice and warm in here now, but maybe a bit too much for Herr Hoss. hear them from here. I need to find a calmer spot. Upstairs, maybe. Hmm. <sighs> 
I'm so glad I started this collection of photos. When I grow up, I'll travel all around the world and photograph everywhere I go. When I'm old, the wall will be covered with them. Honestly, Yunta is not that good. I'm sure I could do better if only I could practice a bit. You all right? Yeah, I thought so. It's just that if I had retaliated, I would have lost my job, you know? Believe me, I came this close to not being able to pay for my studies at the Academy after the holidays. Forget it. He was blind drunk. Won't even remember it come tomorrow. All Gustav could see it was in your fault. Besides, you didn't see him after your performance. Ecstatic he was. There are more and more people like that brute. They don't even bother to hide their hatred anymore. It's like they've been given a mission, or perhaps I should say permission, to abuse people like me, as if Vagarins had suddenly become the scourge of society. And we're powerless to act because if we did, we'd lose our home. My parents? They've become a bundle of nerves. They can't sleep at night. Only last week, our shop window got smashed again. And our neighbors? They couldn't care less. And neither could the authorities. What's wrong? Did my rant frighten you? Well, yes. Yes, it did. I mean, not you, Fräulein. But what you said about the fascists. You've put my own suspicions into words, Fräulein. Because what you say about the brown shadow is true, and that's what worries me. I used to think they were just a bunch of cranks in their ridiculous uniforms. But now I can see these lunatics really are serious. Deadly serious. But you did know who was behind the Origin Expedition. Never gave it much thought, to be honest. Only met Huss and the scientists today. For me, they were no different from any other group I've trained. If I'd have known that, I'd have had second thoughts. Actually, do you know what? What? I'm going to stop training them. Can you do that? It's still a free country, right? So after a few weeks' notice, I'll be off the hook. At least, I get to spend the summer here with you. Painting. But I don't paint. No, you play. I paint. It's my passion. And you can be my muse. Is that what you say to all the girls? No. Never. Hello, you two lovebirds. Everyone's going to bed, so you better come back inside or you'll catch cold, or worse. And that's how Dana pipped everyone at the post. It only took one look for Leon to fall head over heels in love with her. And it didn't take much for Dana to fall for him. Love at first sight, you might say. The whole band stayed at the chalet all summer long. Then, I suppose, everyone went their own sweet way. Did you ever see any of them again? Oh, no. What about Dana and Leon? They too went their own ways, I guess. And that, Fräulein Walker, is all there is to it.
Do you know if she's still alive? Can't be sure, but I doubt it. It was a lifetime ago, Fraulein Walker. Where do you think she might be if she were? No idea. Things went from bad to worse after that summer. Not to mention half the town was razed during the war. Did Dana leave anything here? Any documents or anything that might help me find where she went? Not that I know of. But I suppose there might be... In Father's old coffer. Must still be in the loft. Junta bought it from him that summer, so she could use it to store her precious filming gear. She was supposed to come back for it, but she never did. If there is anything that can help you, it will be in there. So feel free to look around the refuge by yourself if you like, even though I don't think anyone managed to open the coffer since Junta left. Thank you, Demoiselle Lenny. Thank you so much. What now, Fraulein? I was just about to doze off. About Yunta's coffer. What about it? Where did the coffer in the loft come from? In fact, Father made it himself during the long winter evenings. He wanted something more elegant and solid than the old family coffer where he kept the takings. So he made the one upstairs, thanks to the techniques he learnt when he worked in the Vorlberg factory in Valadilene. Valadilene in France? That's right. The price Junta paid was equivalent to a month's worth of takings. Money well spent, though, because it was built like a mountain fortress. I'll be going then. I have to put in a coin. Typical. That's the fabled Silberspiegel. Up Wow, that pass is breathtaking. I wonder what's inside that tent. I guess there must be an access to the attic from the first floor.
The authorities have closed the path due to excavation works on the other side of the mountain. Suits me. I wasn't exactly planning on climbing a mountain today anyway. That must lead to the other side of the circus. Maintaining the refuge must be a huge job. As tough as Lenny is, I hope she has some help when she needs it. That must be the piano Dana played on the night she met Leon. The night Lenny told me about. stove. Seen better days. Hm. Another object with the look of the Varlberg workshop. Ah, I see I'm not the only one stuck here. <laughs> Ah, pull up a seat, and together we can moan about being stuck here. Thank you, but I have things to do. I hope you can stay until this evening, at least. In London, they have the changing of the guard. Here we get the changing of the colors. I guarantee it's worth the wait. Hmm? English? American, actually. Oh, seeing as you've come so far, then... Besides... It's always nicer to be stranded in good company. From Belgium, myself, on a world climbing tour. Stranded? Didn't you know? They've closed the Teufelskragen. That's the path they call the Devil's Pass. So that's what all the fuss is about. All down to climate change. You mean the thaw, right? Made the path too dangerous to climb and... apparently resulted in a morbid discovery. Oh? Bodies of resistance fighters, killed while leading refugees to Switzerland. Frozen solid. Resistance fighters? You mean... frozen since the Second World War? Ah, uh, that's what the paper says. Is that what the tent's for? It's a temporary chapel of rest that the rescue team made while waiting for the bodies to be airlifted out. I see. I guess there's no reason to disrespect the departed, even after all these years. I only hope all this sudden interest from excavationists puts an end to the stupid rumors that a strange creature haunts the Zilberspiegel. Otherwise, you can be sure, as soon as the old lady pops her clogs, this place will become run over by those infernal tourists. Can you tell me about this Devil's Pass? Oh, it's on the far side of the Cirque, looking out from the terrace. As you can imagine, it's called Devil's Pass because it's extremely dangerous. Most of all because of the risk of avalanche. Only seasoned alpinists can negotiate it, really. As a professional alpinist myself, what I love about it is knowing I'm climbing in the tracks of courageous climbers of bygone times. There's a real sense of uh, history about it. For example, resistance fighters used it during the war to smuggle vagherons and uh, other victims of the Brown Shadow into Switzerland. Is that the path they've closed that leads from the refuge? That's right. Thought so. I saw the notice. 
They've blocked it off so the helicopter can airlift the frozen bodies from the bottom of the pass. Meantime, they have set up a temporary chapel of rest, as you can see. Well, that's moving. It's important to show respect, even after all these years. I've had some experience with fantastic fauna myself. But what do you make of the so-called strange creature that roams the mountain? <laughs> Just another local fairy tale to pull in the tourists, if you ask me. They say it lives in prehistoric caves. <laughs> and that it's responsible for people going missing. Ooh. Some even say that the mysterious cries you can hear on some nights are the creature calling for a mate. In other words, the usual twaddle you normally get in remote or uncharted places like uh, the high mountain or the deep sea. <laughs> twaddle passed down from generation to generation through sheer ignorance. Surely, from what I read on the way here, the cries could come from an animal native to the area, couldn't they? That is my thinking exactly. No doubt a bear with something caught in his throat. <laughs> it happens, you know. <laughs> Probably scared the tourist one evening, or... Uh, mm, maybe it was young pranksters. What about those frozen bodies they discovered at the foot of Devil's Pass? Well, um... Due to climate change, the snow line has receded, revealing the bodies trapped in the ice since the Second World War. Most probably resistance fighters and exiles, trying to flee the fascist occupiers and reach Switzerland by the pass. Hmm? I imagine they got caught in an avalanche. Poor wretches have been imprisoned ever since. Until today. That is why the authorities have blocked access to the pass, so they can take the bodies out, identify them, and give them a proper burial. I see. I saw the tent at the foot of the pass through the spyglass outside. Didn't realize it sheltered such a gruesome discovery, though. Right. Thanks for cluing me in. Anyway, I better get back to what I was doing. You are welcome, Fräulein. Reminds me of Hans's automatons in Valadilen. Lenny's father must have made this stair lift to help her get up and down the stairs. Must have taken him many hours. It's touching when you think about it. Lenny's father must have made this stair lift to help her get up and down the stairs. Must have taken him many hours. It's touching when you think about it.
an old <laughs> book, The Magic Mountain by Thomas Mann. Funny. My grandparents left me a copy before they died when I was a kid. I should get around to reading it someday. An old <laughs> book, The Magic Mountain by Thomas Mann. Funny. My grandparents left me a copy before they died when I was a kid. I should get around to reading it someday. This must be Lenny's room. Not sure I'm allowed in here, really. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. Sweet. Photos of the refuge. Looks like they're arranged by time period. There are no photos of the occupation of Wagen by the Brown Shadow. I guess that corresponds to when Lenny and her father had to leave the refuge. These date from before the war. There's even one from the summer when Dana worked at the refuge. All these photos go up to the 80s, including my date of birth.
This series ends at 2002, three years ago, when I began my journey with Oscar and Hans's train. That's pretty impressive. Obviously helps Lenny get up and about. She's still sitting there, watching. Wonder what she's thinking about. This series ends at 2002, three years ago, when I began my journey with Oscar and Hans's train. All these photos go up to the 80s, including my date of birth. There are no photos of the occupation of these date from before the war. There's even one from the summer when Dana worked at the refuge. Austere. Looks like mm, it's cold in here. Austere. Looks like a storage room. So that's the painting Dana told Lenny's father to buy. Not bad. And similar in style to my painting. Wonder what the others were like. There. But who could have left it open? Another of those cigar butts. Austere. Looks like a storage room. It must be a lot of work keeping this place going. Hats off to Demoiselle Lenny for managing all by herself. Dormitories. I wonder how many people stop at the refuge these days. Take up reel. Like the ones used on old cinema projectors.
don't want to break my neck, thank you very much. I must remember to ask Lenny about it. Demoiselle Lenny said that Yunta's coffer was stored somewhere in the attic. be the piano Dana played on the night she met Leon. The night Lenny told me about. What now, Fraulein? I was just about to doze off. Did you meet Leon Kobatis? Why do you ask? You from the police or something? No. I just thought I'd ask, since you seem to appreciate him. Didn't you? Fraulein, when I said you could look in the guest rooms, it didn't include my room. But yes, like I said before, he was a regular customer even before the episode with Dana. To me, he was like a movie star. What young girl wouldn't be bowled over by a young, handsome alpinist? And to top it off, an Olympic medalist? Can you tell me about the resistance medal with your name on it? <sighs> sure, I was in the resistance. Not for those medals, though. Nothing but tin charms. You see, there's those who received medals, and those that were killed. And besides, they aren't gonna give me my legs back, are they? No, but they prove you played a part in the liberation of your country. Puh! Nonsense. Nothing but bad memories. I'd rather not talk about it. I'll be going then. If you get a chance, have a look at the Zilberspiegel at sunset. The colors are a marvel of nature. A mechanical stove? Seen better days. Hm. Another object with the look of the Varlberg workshop. Thank you. 
She's still sitting there, watching. Wonder what she's thinking about. That's pretty impressive. Obviously helps Lenny get up and about. Dear, looks like a storage room. It must be a lot of work keeping this place going. Hats off to Demoiselle Lenny for managing all by herself. Dormitories. I wonder how many people stop at the refuge these days. An old <laughs> book? The Magic Mountain by Thomas Mann? Funny. My grandparents left me a copy before they died when I was a kid. All these photos go up to the 80s, including my date of birth. There are no photos of the occupation of Wagen by the Brown Shadow. These date from before the war. There's even one from the summer when Dana worked at the refuge. This series ends at 2002, three years ago, when I began my journey with Oscar and Hans's train.
A medal for acts of resistance. And it's got Lenny's name on it. Don't want to break my neck, thank you very much. An old <laughs> book, the magic. Fraulein Lainey will end up catching her death of cold if she stays out like that. If this goes on, I'll end up reading my way through the entire bookcase. If you get a chance, have a look at the Zilber Spiegel at sunset. The colors are a marvel of nature. I've told you all I know. The coffer Junta used for her equipment is up in the loft. It was father who mechanized all the refuge for me. The coffer Junta used for her equipment is up in the loft. I've told you all I know. Lenny's father must have made this stair lift to help her get up and down the stairs. Must have taken him many hours. It's touching when you think about it. This must be Yunta's coffer, the one Lenny spoke about. Don't want to break my neck, thank you very much.
I should check each side of the coffer. It's not the time to take the tram back. There's still a lot to do here. Oh, it's dazzling up here. I can see why they call it the Silberspiegel. Silber means silver, and Spiegel is mirror. The silver mirror. It certainly lives up to its name. So much going on in these mountains. Now and before. But I'd better get back on track, or I'll end up renting a room from Demoiselle... Amazing! Now it shows the view from the terrace.
Hmm, I'll need a key to open it. Must have got it wrong. No doubt Yunta must have written this. Summer, 1937. The year Dana worked here. Let's see. I filled my last diary last night. Ordered another one, but still waiting for supplies to be delivered to the refuge. Using an old envelope in the meantime. Today invited Dana for a chat after her shift. I'd like to know what Leon sees in her. I've never seen him so smitten. Thanks for popping up, Dana. How did the shift go? Fine, same as usual. Just finishing up here, then I'll make us a nice cup of tea. Wow, that looks futuristic. What is it? Ah, that little baby is my viewer. That's why it goes in the coffer. What does it do? I use it to put together and edit the rushes. The what? <laughs> rushes. In other words, the strips of unedited footage. I've finished today's selection, so be a dear and put it in the coffer, would you? I would if I knew how. Oh, just turn the key in the lock. The key Yunta asked me to hide. Dana, be a darling and put the key somewhere safe. You can't be too careful with these mountain people, especially with that little Lenny sniffing around my equipment all the time. Where do you normally put it? I have a little hiding place over there. It's a lot of equipment you have there. If you don't mind my asking, how do you manage to pay for it all? Oh, that's easy. Especially when you know a few generous patrons of the arts, dear. Be a darling and put the key in the stash near my bed, would you? Did you take this picture? Of course. How did you get to film them training? Oh, it was a commission. Lucky, really. And Herr Hurs. What's he doing with the Origin Expedition? Unfortunately, all scientific expeditions sponsored by the Brown Shadow come with a chaperone like him. There to make sure their funds are used as they see fit. In other words, that there is no divergence with regards to their ideology. How did you get to film them training? Oh, it was a commission. Lucky, really. Right place, right time kind of thing. Of course, I jumped at the chance because it meant I could film Leon in action at last. How did you and Leon get together? I mean, how did you... We're just friends, if that's what you want to know. How did you and Leon get together? I mean, how did you... We're just... Here Gustav's radio. Looks like he customized it, probably to compensate for the wave disturbance due to the mountains. Is this where you want me to put the key? Yes, there's a dear. It's a handy hiding place. Who made it? Oh, Herr Gustav. He knows only too well. Yuntis key should be safe in there. Yuntis key should be safe in there.
just need to finish preparing for the filming tomorrow, then we can chat away to our heart's content. If you could just fetch me a new roll of film from the darkroom, then we're done. Did you take the photos of the athletes? <laughs> You're not often lonely then. Well, look at our sweet little waitress. Doesn't she have a saucy mind? It's called art, dear. My work aims to explore every facet of youth and the vitality of bodies. I bet it does. I love your photos. Ah, well, they each represent an element of mountain wildlife and flora I've photographed recently. I use them as a sort of checklist. A checklist, huh? Here are the film rolls Yunda asked me for. All these newspaper clippings mention the brown shadow. According to Father, their influence is growing among the population. Now that I've had the misfortune of meeting Herr Huss here, I understand his concern. No doubt Yunta must have written this. Looks like she didn't note down the end of her meeting with Dana. But it might still contain the info I need to open the coffer. No doubt Yunta must have written this. Looks like she didn't note down the end of her meeting with Dana. But it might still contain the info I need to open the coffer. A film developing company. They probably developed Yunta's films and sent them back once they were done. According to Yunta's notes, there was a room on the other side. I can't reach it anymore, but Dana could. Wagen Refuge, 1937. Yunta's films, taken during the summer Dana worked here. This one says Lenny, director. So I guess Lenny did get to make her film after all. This one says Lenny, director. So I... Wagen Refuge, 1937. Yunta's films, taken during the summer Dana worked here. This is where Yunta's bed used to be, which means her secret stash can't be far. Impossible.
Get away. Yunta's coffer key. Where can I find the combination for the mechanism? No. Oh, the screen is in the way.
Interesting footage. Let's see what's on the other reel. Lenny didn't say she filmed a fight between Dana and Leon. I'd better go back and see her to find out about it. I should go back to Lenny and ask her if she remembers what the argument between Dana and the Mountaineer was about.
Demoiselle Lenny, I saw the film you shot of Dana and Leon. So Junta kept it. She got so cross when she discovered I'd rummaged through her stuff. She most certainly had secrets of her own, that one. I know it was ages ago, but can you recall what happened between Dana and Leon that day? You do like flogging a dead horse, don't you, Fraulein? But as you please. Since Junta never let me use her camera, I decided not to ask her anymore. Like that, she couldn't say no, could she? And that's when I heard them arguing. How could you agree to this, Leon? How could you? I told you, I had no choice. The local guide for Baltayar can't do it anymore. He got injured. Why don't you just refuse then? It's their stupid expedition, not yours. Look, Dana, I didn't want to tell you, but... But what? Frank Huss, that brute from the other night. He's the one that made the call here. In other words, he's taking revenge by sending me to the other side of the world with the Origin Expedition. And he said that if I refused, something might happen. Not just to me, but to you as well. What do you mean? You know what I mean. You're a Vagarian and so are your parents, right? Well, Huss says it won't be long before the Brown Shadow is in power and he made it clear that something was brewing and that you and your parents would be first on the list. What list? I don't know, but it can't be good. Then he said that other Vagarians would follow. Dear God. Damn it, darling. The world's gone crazy. Promise. Promise me you'll be very careful. It will be all right if you just watch yourself and what you say. I've asked Junta to stand by you just in case. It won't be long, darling. Half a school year at the Music Academy. I'll be home for Christmas. Promise. Oh, uh, come here now, my pretty Edelweiss. Don't call me that. You know I don't like it. It's true, though. That's exactly where you are, my pretty Edelweiss. If you keep that up, Leon Kobatis, I'll find you a nickname, too. <laughs> Go on, then. All right. Your nickname will be Highland Painter from now on. Not sure my Veganese artist friends will like it, but why not? Beautiful, isn't it? I could stay here forever. There, Fraulein Walker. That is all I have to say. I hope this time you have what you need to continue on your journey. Thank you, Demoiselle Lenny. But there is just one more thing. You mentioned a music academy? They must have ledgers and archives. Maybe I'll be able to find out whether Dana left an address there. Well, it hasn't moved. It's still in Vargan. Go to the Musicians' District. It's right next to the Musical Square. That's all I can tell you, so if you don't mind, Fraulein. Thank you. Then that's where I'll continue my search. Is it really worth your while to keep looking for Dana? Is it not just another pipe dream, Fraulein? I get the impression there have been others. I prefer to look at it as a calling. Besides, I don't have much choice. Thanks to you, she's a part of me now. As you wish. I hope you find what you are looking for. Thank you. Again. I've got everything I need from here, I guess. 
Best get back to the guest house. Get some rest. I'll go to the Music Academy first thing in the morning. So, I expect this will be our last goodbye then, Fraulein. If I were you, Fraulein, I wouldn't wait too long before returning to the tram. It's a fair trot back to the station, you know? So, I expect this will be our last goodbye then, Fraulein. my sweet Katusha. The girl in the painting. Her name is Dana. Dana Rose. That's nice, Kate. Real nice. I'm gonna find out who she was, just like I promised you. Nothing more than a good old adventure to forget your grief, I guess. You should go, Kate. Or you're gonna miss the tram. Mm -hmm.
Oh, gosh. What a day.